Another cold, rotten day in Merkmere. Another smell off the bog and the sea. Another cold, rotten day in Merkmere, where you're not happy to see me. <laughs> Another cold, rotten day in Merkmere. We never have a flag unfurled. Because here in Merkmere, it's the best, worst city in the world. That's right. Welcome to another day in Murphville. Yeah, we don't have a wish. You just strip the streets and you scream a bit and everything smells like piss. Welcome to another day in Murphville. It's the worst you've ever seen. Why, I'm a little boy and I'll be dead by the age of 14. Out of the way! Suck me! Where we all probably die young in <laughs> Merkmere. You get what you get and it's fun. <laughs> Merkmere. Watch it well. The best, best worst city. Another son of Merkmere coming back home. Coming back to the city that makes you live and die alone. I've gone from this place for two years, and that's a third of most lives. And it's because I'm coming back for vengeance, and I will not compromise because this place has done me wrong, and now I'm back. <laughs> Time somebody didn't pay me for a ride. And so I thought I should get vengeance on them. Is it like that? Is that why you hide? No, worse than that than not being repaid by a donkey ride where he danced. Now I'm back because I want a second Boxes you could put a button mm -hmm. in so you wouldn't <laughs> forget <laughs> where your button you was if it fell off your waistcoat or your outer coat. Your I didn't sell buttons and I didn't sell thread and I didn't yes, sell needles not in my head. No, I just sold a tiny little box, box for a button. But then my sister started a second store right yeah. next to mine. Also put them into a tiny box. Yeah, we all know the store. It's called Button Boxes Thread and Beyond. Buttons Boxes, boxes Thread. And Vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> about being a villain and not quite an anti-hero. <laughs> there are many little important distinctions important for us to both know. It's not that we're just doing bad things, it's that all of the things are quite bad. Mm -hmm. And we do them to other bad people, but we root for those people when those people get sad. And also we're dressed to oppress, yes. from our hats to our spats. <laughs> we are dressed to oppress, just look at this big evil cat. I'll get you dressed, dressed to oppress. oppress, yes the cat is also a hat. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> because I'm oppressing the cat and I am oppressive as that. The darkness is so murky that I don't know where to begin. Thank you. Are you a villain or anti-hero and who do I want to win? I don't know who to root for. I only fit the pants and give the tools and sling some shit and little things like that. I don't know. I am dressed to oppress and I do it through such evil means. I am dressed to oppress. I pull families apart at the seams. Can I tell you my most favorite story? Okay. About someone who really is mad. Okay. So this is a person who I haven't seen in an age and a half, and I'm glad. You see, there once was a man who sold buttons. Buttons. Not buttons, but just one tiny box. A little box. And then he had a sister (laughs) who wanted a job. Can you imagine a job? That's quite odd. So many details. And I gave that sister a job with a business that would put her brother out of business. Okay. And that's what I did, and I'm getting involved in someone else's life. Why is this? Because I am dressed to a bread. I make other people sad just cause. I am dressed to a bread. Evil is as evil does. And if you can follow in this dark duet, what comes next is anyone's guess. Together, we will both be. Have you been fitted? Have you been tailored? Has every little thread fit in just right? Are you looking perfect, perfect to die? What about this cravat and this waistcoat? Will it hide if the soup has tomatoes which make you bloat? Will this hold it in when you are under the ground? Why don't we tighten it, tighten it, tighten that cravat and we'll tighten it, tighten it till you feel hot and we'll tighten it, tighten it, now you look fine and sublime. You're not Gerald Henry in disguise. What do you mean? You're just Gerald Henry. You do seem to have shown up quite out of nowhere, Gerald Henry. And I wonder perhaps what even brings you here. I heard your poor sister ran you out of business. Where is my dear sister? Oh, she's dead, of course. Wait, what? Yes, don't you know? People do not live very long here in Merkman. How dare you live to be 35? How (laughs) dare you be here still alive? When my sister I hear is now dead. How dare you tear us apart with thread? Do not worry anymore. Yes, your sister is gone, but I take care of her store. And I tend to it quite well. And it makes me quite a mint. So if that's if why you are upset, then just be done with it. Yes, that's why I'm upset. That's why I was here to kill you. Oh. But now I'm like, if my sister's dead, what will that do? <gasps> Perhaps I should just move to where people haven't seen tiny boxes that can hold their buttons and their bits of string. Then did you think that I did not know that you would arrive when you came in on the donkey cart? The donkey like to jive and I know that because well that donkey is mine and I was the person who was making the donkey ride you drove the donkey cart this whole time yes. you tore us apart with twice yes. drive the donkey cart all along it was me it was me and you were who was wrong I uh, was drunk, doing this right. whole time, whole time. Because we're already fighting with my sister. I 
All the doors are locked and you have fallen into my trap. I know you'd like to leave, but oh, we really can't have that. And so you must stay here, and here you too will die. Hope you see your sister on the earth. How dare you be so That's the tea kettle, must be 12 o'clock. It's been so long since I've seen you. So much has happened between the ages of 11 and 13. A long time ago, you remember when we were children. You started a shop, and I started one too. I didn't want to do it, but that man in the tower, he bid me so. And then he tried to kill me, and I escaped wearing the hide of a donkey. I have lived as a donkey all these years. I've shed so many donkey tears. And in my life, I took Henrietta and took her soul and put her in a tiny box, only to be opened now. And I hear your plan of vengeance has failed, but he didn't factor us, the power of siblings in disguise. Join me, terrible. And let's take our dual vengeance on him. And we shall put him in a box of his own, but not tiny. <laughs> put him in a box of his own. A six foot box of his own. Put him in a box of his own. Sometimes in life things get hard You can get roughed up and scarred You think you'll never get your hit So you limit yourself to just giving people shit But maybe there can be more And so, maybe my life's not tragic, no, maybe I can expand my magic, expand my magic, expand my magic, I can do it, nothing is tragic. I can expand my magic. This is amazing, like you just said. Out of my wrist, I can shoot web. I'm gonna tell everyone I know, and I'll send them all here. And you can give them gifts as well, cause your gift is clear. Wait, you look like someone that I know, but I can't tell for sure. Ah! I'm back. But I'd like to expand my magic, if you would. The magic knows what it is that you need to succeed. <sighs> I feel you, this magic. I feel you. <laughs> Children of my magic. Assemble! Also, any others! <laughs> now is the time to use your gifts, whatever they are, for good or evil. Maybe people will still root for you if 
your cause is good and it looks bad. Yes. But now is your moment. Now is your time to shine. Just a little bite. Ooh. That was good. I wonder what is coming next. Now a little plate, sir, of a soup, a chilled soup. Ooh. To amuse your bouche. Our bush is amused by this chili soup. Nom, 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. This is good, too. How many dishes are in this course, chef? 35. That's quite a lot. <gasps> and they all have something in common. What's that? A through line, you see. Oh, Each of them as I played them. A direct reflection of me and what builds in them a gift from Juliet in disguise my power is I can conjure tomatoes <laughs> I can conjure tomatoes tomatoes from where they come, who knows? I don't know. But I can conjure tomatoes. Yes, it seems you have caught to my weakness. What a clever and smart little thing. The reason there are no tomatoes in here is I have a deadly allergy. And it's not just me. Assemble. What? There are so many of you. We go very all the way back into this hallway. Look at that Spider Boy back there. He's a Spider What's Boy. What's the one with the big hammer? Hammer Man. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have the number. Recognize me at all. Donkey? It's not a lie. What? I open two tiny boxes, and here are buttons for your eyes. Oh. As you ride the river sticks, oh. and a coin shall be put in your mouth. Oh. You shall ride the boat with Sharon. And you will head south. Well done, brother and sister. Hiding a poison for me. I hope that you realize by taking my life, you're on a path to villainy. No. Not quite villainy. Yes, you're right. Because villainy. we'll always be still sad. Only anti-heroes when your town is this bad. Another day in Mercmere, another day in this town, another using magic to put real villainy in the ground. No! I don't think I have oh. any what? <laughs> Don't you get the gist? The one thing you're lacking from the story is a martyred protagonist. <laughs> She's right. Curse you, <laughs> Oh, look at what I've done. Look at the toll. Look at the cost. Is it worth these tomatoes? Look at what I've done and all the damage I've caused. What can I do to make this carnage fall? It's just another day in a fear where there's no way out. A painting. Another way in a fear. Huh, what is this curse about? Huh, it's making me cry. Huh. But the crying feels good. good. 
Sister, you thought you were so stoic, but those emotions were in you the whole time. Oh, oh yeah, this feels quite nice. Ha! Huh. Should we just be sad? Should we just be sad? Should we stop mucking round in shit and fish, making things worse go to worse and bad? Should we be <laughs> sad? Should we just be sad? Every day giving all this trying Maybe we should just be crying Instead of living, instead of dying Maybe we should be crying I think we should be sad when we're sad But sometimes, sometimes we're mad Sometimes we're glad when we're sad Mad when we're mad Glad when we're mad Glad when we're mad Glad when we're mad